guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Hi, my name is Connie and I do makeup. Okay, so in this video I am using the Natasha Denona Zendo palette to create this look. And this is what this baby looks like. I don't know if you can find it anywhere um, on the Natasha Denona website. I'll see if you can, if, if you can purchase it from the from their site or from Sephora, I will leave a link down below. I'm not, I don't think so though. This is kind of an older palette, but I'm going into my stacks, you know, of palettes and I'm like, what haven't I used lately? And this was one of them. I don't know why I just closed that. Anyway, um, I'm going in on this side of the palette. I'll be doing some more blues and greens in the future, but today I went bronzy peach as you can see, with a glossy, nude, brownie lip. So if you wanna know how I got this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. From the intro, you already saw the finished look. Hopefully it turns out. Using the Zendo palette from Tasha Denona. I don't know if this is a um, palette that a lot of people liked. I like it because it's very spring. So I am working in the bronzy pinky area today and I used the shade Mindful, Balance, Sense, and I also used the shade Tranquil right here. So unfortunately you can't purchase this anymore. I, I don't think, um, I think they only have the mini Zendo, but, um, I still have my palette and I still use it. I love it. And that's how I got this look today. So let's just get started. I have the color story on my hand. So I'm first gonna go in with this shade right, hold on. Here we go. So I'm first gonna go, I have the color story on my hand. So first I'm going to use the shade Balance as a transition color. And I'm gonna apply that to my crease and upper crease. You guys know the drill. I pretty much do the same thing for all my looks. Let me know if you're getting bored. So I'm applying Balance on my crease and upper crease. This is gonna act as my outermost transition color. So I'm really blowing this out. Lasso like that. Next, I'm going to be going in with the shade Mindful, which is this warm brown right here. Now, it's kind of a shimmer. It's like a satin, it's not matte, but I like how it, I liked how it looked. So even though <laughs> I don't usually like putting um, satins on my outer corner, I like mattes out there, I'm gonna be using the Dines Myricks palette the or the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette to deepen it up so that's going to make it more matte. But as you can see when I put it on, it looks matte, but it does have a little bit of a um, radiance to it. So I would call it more of a satin. And I'm just applying that to my outer corner and bringing it above my hood so it can be seen. And then going in with a clean brush to blend it out. So happy new year, you guys. I'm filming this before the new year, but you're not going to see it probably until mid January. I'm pre-filming because I go back to work on the second and I'm not going to have nearly as much time to create content. So I'm trying to like pre-film a lot. I've already got stuff for Valentine's Day film. So Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is a bark from the groundwork, the Danessa Meyer groundwork palette. And I'm going to put that on my outermost corner and keeping it pretty low to my lash line. So I wanted to do something bronzy today because I haven't done I haven't done that in a while, so 
What do you guys think? Did you guys like the look? Do you have the Zendo palette? I want to know. Let me know. Is this one of your favorite Natasha Denona palettes? I want to get my hands on the Dream palette. I don't even know if she sells it anymore, but um, I'll, I'll, I need to find it secondhand or something because I love purples and pinks. They look great on brown eyes. Look how pretty that blended. Okay, next I'm going in with the shade Sense which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger, slightly overlapping mindful and putting it in the middle of my eye. Now, if you really want these shimmers to pop, you need some glitter glue. But since I'm doing something super subtle today, I'm not too worried about it. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Calm. And apply that to the inner third of my eye. So I'm kind of like making a gradient with these shimmers. Once again, if you want the this to pop as well, you're gonna need some glitter glue, but I wanted it to be subtle, very subtle. And that's literally the look. I just added a liner and a lash. Cute, right? Super simple. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go off camera pop on my lash, do my liner, and I will be back with the final look. Okay guys, here I am back with the final look. What do we think? Sorry for the squeaky chair. I'm in the process of getting a new one, but what do we think? Cute, cute, right? I love this palette. I think it's underrated. Um, I wish that Natasha Denona still sold this. I don't know. Maybe it's available on Sephora. If I can find it somewhere, I will leave it linked down below in the description box. But I love how spring this palette is. I'm already ready for spring, even though um, it's only January. But you know, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you like this look, then go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. I'm going to be doing some new stuff. I got palettes that I need to use, like, give me one second, like this one from Bella Beauté Bar, the Angles of Illumination. It's an all shimmer palette, so I really need to break into this. So we're going to be having... We're going to be having some looks coming, okay? Some looks. So make sure you turn on your bell notification for that so you don't miss anything that I upload. And since you're here, you might as well watch some of my older videos so that they are popping up right there and right there, right there and right there, right there and right there. Support your girl, okay? And I hope to see you in the next one. Everything that I use will be listed down below in the description box for your viewing pleasure. And I will see you soon. Bye!